They're taking on about. Well, that's, they're taking on 40 themselves, plus what they take out. Probably, probably close to 60. These are the fly-by-wire controls and enunciated in front of the boom operator is uh, the roll of the aircraft, that would be the boom flying left and right, how far it's in and out from the aircraft, part of the aircraft, and he can describe the motion and have it direct the aircraft back underneath the, the uh, case he can. Again, we can uh, transfer about 4,000 pounds per minute and uh, the average height. <laughs>
Captain Heron, you must seem a welcome sight to uh, air in the uh, support group when you arrive. Yes, we are. They really enjoy to have us around. It helps us get uh, people around the world. This sort of aircraft, they don't quite seem to have the same sort of glamour associated with fighters, but you're doing your bit nonetheless. Uh, that's true. It's kind of hard to, to not get all the glamour, but it, basically they can't do their job without us, so that's why we do it. Yeah. Do you have much time to um, get around and sightsee? You know, like some of the other crews here have been uh, surfing and buying uh, hats and all sorts of things. Not too much. We usually spend just a minimal time on the ground. I think we're going to get about a day and a half here where they've been here a couple of weeks. Okay, great. Done. That'll do it. Oh, right. Welcome sight. Yep. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. Yeah. Okay, well, around. Jim, you must make a welcome sight when you arrive. Oh, yeah. It, the crews like it because we can get them around the world and they can help do their mission a little bit better as we go along. You're like a, a flying home base to them, really. That, that is true. Without us, they can't get anywhere in the world. And without us, they can't do their mission daily. Done. Great. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> no, I know these guys. <laughs> okay, we're recording. Colonel Crouch, final briefing. How's the last two weeks been? Uh, it's really outstanding. Uh, the training we've received here has been uh, the type of training that we could not possibly receive in Korea. Uh, the people of Australia, the people of uh, Williamstown, and uh, especially Newcastle, uh, should be extremely proud of the pilots they have here flying their Hornets. Uh, these are some of the finest pilots we've come up against. Uh, their training, as you know, is a lot like ours. But I can truly say that uh, these are some fine professionals out here we've flown against and it's been a joy and we're hoping to come back. In a lot of ways it's been a, an effective and cost effective uh, manner of training as well. It certainly has. Uh, like I said before, uh, it's very difficult because of weather constraints we have sometimes in Korea. Uh, we do get a lot of training with our Korean allies, however, but to come here with Australian uh, people that train a lot like we do, the Australian pilots, it makes it uh, cost effective from the standpoint of weather especially. The ranges are very close. And uh, we have a lot better facilities here in some respects than we can get ourselves in the Korea because of the constraints of the uh, flying territory. Now as far as combat goes, uh, is there a winner out of the last two weeks? Well, I don't think there really is. I think the winners are both uh, the people of Australia and the people of the United States. Uh, the diplomatic uh, sources we felt here, the friendship we felt here, not only from the fighter pods, but from the people of uh, Newcastle. Uh, they've just been outstanding. We went to Sydney, uh, and I really hope that Sydney gets a chance to have the Olympics. I've never seen a cleaner city than Sydney, and I know that all my pilots and my maintenance professionals, uh, my supporters, all of them had nothing but praise for that city. Uh, same with Newcastle. It's just been a, a truly magnificent deployment for us, and I can't say enough about the people of Australia. Great. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for fitting us in. You bet. Have a good